Jason sent me this thing the other day. And you know, this looks perfect for any tick boxes. I mean, it is endorsed by Tolarian Community College. This guy is our other god. This guy in Sasabo. <laughs> It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 twelve dick, dick for this boss. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, you carry it around in a briefcase like Seto Kaiba instead of the, the way we do now with this yeah. cardboard box. So, anyway, um, so I just brought up Amazon and it's, it's 40 USD. So, what is that in? It's like in a Amazon? 60 New Zealand dollars. It's, a, it's on the more expensive it's side. It's not too bad. But um, I, if, if he's, yeah, this is what we're using. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 sh I showed them. I showed the I showed the people. Um, so yeah, this uh, could be quite useful. Yeah, I'm pretty keen on that. And then to be honest, like sixty dollars to store, like I feel like it would be cheaper, honestly. But um, sixty dollars to store like twelve deck boxes is probably a pretty good steal because like. If you imagine like other card companies, like you go to Ultimate Guard or Ultra Pro, they'll probably like sell you this thing that stores like three or four or five deck yeah, boxes oh and, and they'll be like, that will be $50, please. <laughs> so they don't even have the capacity for it. So we're going on a hunt today. And also, um, you can be like Kaiba with this briefcase. Exactly. <laughs> Look at all these weird cards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. We're at Bunnings Warehouse. This is like, what do they have in America? I don't know, man. I've never been to America. <laughs> <laughs> well, Philippines is pretty, pretty America, right? <laughs> never leave the house. <laughs> That's true. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know the equivalent hardware store in America, um, but yeah, it's basically a hardware store for all your DIY needs. Yeah. And stuff. Hopefully, uh, they have the Stanley toolbox. I mean, really, we could have checked online, but... No, no one has time for that. <laughs> and it's not as fun. We'd rather just waste 30 minutes trying to look for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jason's just getting prepared to duel the, the store owners for the toolbox. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I never leave home without my most powerful deck. Oh my gosh, so many cars. Wow. This might have been a mistake. Man, these old... Oh no. Do we have a game plan? What's our game plan, Chase? <laughs> My game plan is just to act. Oh, well, that's not fun. Okay, fine. Uh, building Let's go <laughs> to a box. Oh man, like, do I look like I belong here? <laughs> Alright, fine, that's us. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, so we're going to the all the way to the right. Oh man. And what have you done? All the way. You all the way to the right. How about this? Like these little boxes? Oh, whoa! There it is. There it is. Oh my God. That was easy. It's like a sixty-six dollars. But that, that's what we expected, though, right? No. All right, so um, this is the ultimate test. This year. Take a look. And, uh... Wait, this is a different one. Oh, now I understand why you bought the tech boxes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, man? Like, actually, I'm not gonna ask what you think of me. <laughs> yeah, this is different. Oh, and that's for the that one's for Yu-Gi-Oh size decks. That one. <laughs> but that was only like thirty dollars. What the? Yeah. Hell? It's crazy. You can buy two of those. Yeah. So. Oh, this one's big one. So the big deck box doesn't fit that well, but small deck box fits in better. So we'll just need to use all Ultra Pros. All right, Ultra Ultra Pro, please. Please sponsor, Please sponsor us. us. Please sponsor our videos. <laughs> okay, so let's uh... How many can fit in this? Well, this fits. So the big... I feel like I could fit three of these. No. Just take no, no, just two. No, I think just two, right? Yeah. Mm. It's not bad. 
What's the verdict, Jason? Huh? What's the verdict? I think we'll get it. <laughs> I mean, just no ultra pro deck boxes only. But that's fine. Please sponsor the channel. We need your help. Okay. At last, the time has come for the decks to be put into their new home. So let's open this thing up. The four seals, two at the top, and then one on each side. All right, let's open this up. So. Yeah, uh, looks like this thing does not go back very far. Uh, as you can see here, I'm like trying to trying to push it, don't want to break it, but yeah, it's not letting me go. So it caps at about a 90 degree angle. Uh, not really a big deal, just something to be aware of, I guess, in case you're interested in this product. Um, yeah, uh, in the in the video, they it was actually all of the compartments were were these small ones, but uh, mine came with two big ones. I had a look at the other ones in the store, and they were also big ones. So yeah, what can you do? Um, in terms of storage capacity, it's probably the same. I'm sure you can just store two here, so no big deal. And let the migration begin. So hi, Drews, in you go. Um, I was messing around with this compartment, and um, unfortunately. It looks like it really does cap at two deck boxes. Uh, looks a bit funny, but um, yeah. Um, I tried to make see if I could like maybe position them differently. Like, you know, let's say the deck is lying down. Um, I just to show you guys. Yeah, there. So three doesn't fit. You can't um can't squeeze it in that way. It's because I think it's because these compartments are not like perfect quadrilaterals. It's not like a perfect rectangle in inside. There are these things which make it like octagonal in nature, and then that just makes it like awkward to to put in these deck boxes. But anyway, um, if you tried to make one lie down and then stack another one on top of it, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Um, it's too tall, and this container doesn't have any like depth in the lid. Um, so the moment you you put it down. It just it won't allow it to close so yeah you won't be able to do that but we'll have to live with um do deck boxes in the compartment but that's fine okay all right so um continuing on we've got this going in here Surprisingly enough, uh, some of the bigger deck boxes fit. So this is an Ultimate Guard 80 Plus. As you can see, it's it's bigger. It's a, it's a lot fatter than the Ultra Pro one. Um, maybe I should put it like that. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it it is bigger. Um, put put the Ultra Pro in front. As you can see, um, there's like you can see this part. So it is a bigger deck box. But if you, you so you can't just throw it in. But then if you put it in carefully, it'll. It'll fit perfectly, so that's that's pretty neat. Um, and there, there we go. Um, so it looks like the outlier has been left out in the cold, but that's fine. Huh? <laughs> when we make enough decks, we're probably gonna buy another one of these. So close it up. There you go. That's the Stanley Fat Max deck case. <laughs> yeah, I ordered some singles off TCGrepublic.com. They finally arrived. So uh, yeah, let's let's open this up, and I can share with you guys what I bought. So the the purpose of this is really um, singles for some of the new decks we're working on, or rather the revamped concepts. Uh, so it's very exciting. Uh, a lot of these cards I. Well, we, we actually don't really have too many to go around, so... Yeah, alright. So, um, here we go. Uh, let's just take that out of the way. It's packaged very well, so um, lots of bubble wrap, lots of cardboard. Uh, okay, so where should I make the first incision? Oh man, maybe I should have uh, thought this out before, before opening it. Okay, it's alright. I have the power. I have the power of tools. Okay, and so lots of cardboard there, our online shops, if you want to check those out at some point, put that aside, and here we go. Okay, so yeah, the, <laughs> this is a sentiment that you guys are probably used to, but no top loaders in Japan, that's fine. So they put in this CD case, and okay, let's see what we got here. 
Wow, there's a there was a lot of plastic. Okay, so our oh, oh man, this is taking a lot longer than than it's supposed to. All right, cool. So we've got Balmedius. We've got a uh, Petrova, two alternate art Petrovas. This is from the the reprint set. We've got two more Balmedius. We've got two Pincer Scarabs. We've got Skeleton Vice. So this is what we're using for Cranium Clamp. We've got a Crystal Spin Slicer. Uh, some of our ones have the new border. I, I much prefer the old border. So yeah, that's what we're, we're going with. And we've got some more Petrovas. So we've got this uh, very interesting looking full art version. I think it looks pretty cool. I, I think it uh, will go great with our Neo Beast Folk Mafia deck. Ooh, spoilers ahead. We've got Miraculous Plague. This is the, the original printing from DM11. Eternal Wave, I believe, is what it was called in Japan. And we've also got two copies of Upheaval. So that's a very interesting spell from uh, Shattered Rainbow. Uh, truth be told, I... I I don't think I really have a deck in mind for this, but I thought it would be uh, cool to just get my hands on a few copies of this card, you know, just in case, and it might be hard to get in the future. So yeah, um, Bulmedius, I don't think we're we're looking at making too many new Bulmedius decks, but the main reason that I got some is because the current Bulmedius that we're using are from DM6, the original printing, and I think... Uh, the, the price tag on that is getting to be quite high just because it's the, the first printing, so I didn't really want to damage them, so I thought I'd use some some other kinds of Bulmediuses for those to, to play with and then just chuck the other ones in a collection to protect them from damage. But yeah, so uh, Pincer Scarab is, is pretty cool. Um, we I think if you caught the dual vlogs video, um, episode zero, I mentioned that we were looking at making a Pincer Scarab deck. That's been going pretty well. It's very interesting, uh, but we only had two, so this completes the set. Everything else, I think, is pretty self-explanatory on where, where things are going or if we're using them. But yeah, so thank you guys. This has been Jason, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.